Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the TeachX Awards for 2020. May I proudly introduce your host for this online ceremony, Principal of St Andrews Lutheran College and Queensland College of Teachers board member, David Bliss. Well, good afternoon and welcome to the 2020 QCT TeachX Awards. As you've just heard, my name is David Bliss and it's been my privilege to be a teacher in Queensland for 36 years, both in public and in panic schooling sectors. I'm currently the principal of St Andrews Lutheran College on the Gold Coast and I served the profession and the Queensland College of Teachers as a QCT board member. Well, it wouldn't be 2020, would it, if we hadn't created a way to join you wherever you are this afternoon, to celebrate those who in some form today are first among equals in serving with distinction in their school communities. In a year where teachers have, it's fair to say, been quite extraordinary in their service of students and their families, it is perhaps more fitting than ever that we celebrate these awards. Perhaps that is one of the reasons we have been inundated with nominations this year. Teaching, after all, is the one profession which supports and develops every other profession. This virtual ceremony is coming to you live from the Queensland College of Teachers offices in Tawong, Brisbane. In keeping with the spirit of reconciliation, I wish to acknowledge the traditional custodians on the land where the QC2 office now stands, the Yagara and Tiribur people, and recognise that this has always been a place of learning and teaching. I wish to pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging and acknowledge the important role Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders continue to play within this community. If you're sharing your photos on social media, then please use the hashtag #teachx. The QCT thanks our sponsors, TUH Health Fund, Teachers Mutual Bank, The Courier Mail, QSuper and Schoolzine for their generous assistance in recognising our wonderful profession. Tonight is the eve of World Teachers Day and here we are to celebrate teachers. We believe all the initiatives on display today are worthy of celebration and sharing and we hope that these outstanding efforts inspire and motivate others. It has been a year of considerable insecurity and uncertainty in many households. Teachers and the schools in which they serve provide a deep sense of consistency and security. Perhaps there has never been a time when teachers have been as rightly acknowledged as they have surely deserved this year. The QCT Teaching Awards have been going for more than a decade and recognise and reward excellence, commitment, determination and innovation shown by Queensland teachers. This afternoon, we'll celebrate those achievements from all sectors and quite literally from diverse regions in Queensland. I'd like to acknowledge our special guests this afternoon, our award finalists and the dignitaries from educational organisations, the many teachers, parents and families of teachers from throughout Queensland who are joining us online for this celebration. Today we will hear from the Honourable Grace Grace, MP, Minister for Education and Industrial Relations and the Honourable Jared Blay, MP, Shadow Minister for Education and Industrial Relations. This will be followed by announcements of the finalists and winners of the different awards, six in total, after which Emeritus Professor Wendy Patton, the Queensland College of Teachers Board Chair, will provide closing remarks. I'd now like to welcome to the screen Minister Grace Grace, MP. Thank you. It's great to join you to celebrate the 2020 TeachX Awards, which provide an opportunity to recognise and celebrate the inspiring work of teachers across the state. It is fitting that we're celebrating this event on the eve of World Teachers Day. This year, we are doing things a little differently due to COVID-19 physical restrictions. In fact, this year's TeachX Awards not only recognise the efforts of individual teachers, but also acknowledge the extraordinary efforts teachers have made in response to the COVID pandemic. The ability of schools and early childhood education and care communities 
to adapt and succeed in changing circumstances is a reflection of our resilience and the excellence of Queensland's world-class education system. As Education Minister, I frequently have the privilege to witness firsthand the amazing work of the dedicated principals, teachers and students in our schools and early learning centres. I am always impressed by the passion and commitment of our school communities across all sectors to support every child to succeed. And I am equally inspired by the exceptionally high standard of the TeachX nominations this year. Teachers are a vital link to our efforts to provide Queensland with a world-class education system. The Queensland College of Teachers TeachX Awards are unique in that all three school sectors are represented and teachers from high school, primary school and the early childhood sector can nominate across all subjects. This year, 371 registered teachers entered the awards, resulting in 387 nominations across six award categories. This is a record number of entries and a 60% increase on last year, which was also a record year. Tonight we will announce the winners of each of the six categories. Each nomination goes through a rigorous judgment process where representatives from state, independent and Catholic education, parents groups and staff from the Queensland College of Teachers review and judge the application. You can imagine how hard that job would be. I thank all the educators for their time and effort and I congratulate the Queensland College of Teachers for their outstanding work in organising the awards and this presentation ceremony in this online format this evening. I also take this opportunity to acknowledge the staff, parents and school community members who entered teachers into the awards. By taking the time to do this, you have given these teachers the opportunity for their work to be highlighted and of course rewarded. The Queensland College of Teachers TeachX Awards are supported by sponsors including QSuper, Teachers Mutual Bank, The Courier Mail, TUH Health Fund and Schoolzine. Without these sponsors, the awards would not be possible and I thank them greatly. I am very honoured to have this opportunity to celebrate and reward some of our most outstanding teachers, principals and school communities. The awards have received nominations from across Queensland, from urban, rural and remote locations and I congratulate all nominees, finalists and winners for their outstanding efforts. You shall be all very proud of your achievements and I wish you all the very best for tonight's announcements. Congratulations to all. Well, thank you, Minister Grace. And may I say it's quite to our favour and good fortune that you somehow managed to match our corporate colour branding for this celebration this afternoon. I'd now like to welcome to the screen Shadow Minister Jared Blay, MP. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Queensland College of Teachers TeachX Awards. I'm so pleased to have been asked by the College of Teachers to provide this video of congratulations and best wishes to you all this evening. I want to start by acknowledging my parliamentary colleague, the Minister for Education and Industrial Relations, Grace Grace, Emeritus Professor Wendy Patton, Chair of the Queensland College of Teachers, Mr David Bliss, Board Member for the Queensland College of Teachers, your wonderful MC for this evening's event, and to the amazing sponsors who make this event possible. And of course, our outstanding Queensland teachers and staff in all school sectors, including early childhood education. Every single one of you that do an amazing job to deliver the very best education outcomes for our Queensland students. This year has been a challenging year, particularly for our teachers. Not only have you been dealing with the uncertainty of school closures and the challenges of remote and online learning, but as a father of a current year 12 student, I absolutely understand the roller coaster of emotions that students are exhibiting both in and out of the classroom every single day. The extraordinary individual effort that you, our teachers, have demonstrated throughout COVID has most certainly helped our Queensland students face what really has been a stressful and anxious year for them. And your actions and the positive impact you have had on their learning and wellbeing is both acknowledged and appreciated. It is therefore fitting that a record number of entries were nominated for this year's award, and that is really exciting. 
This is a, a reflection and acknowledgement of your work this year and I am sure that every parent in Queensland who may or may not have completely understood or appreciated the role of our teachers in the past now have a new appreciation of our teachers after spending time homeschooling or home learning their children during COVID-19. Can I say a big congratulations to all the nominees whose extraordinary efforts have been recognised both by nominations and the award winners tonight. I'd also like to acknowledge the teachers, the parents and the school community members who took the opportunity to nominate for these awards. I wish all the nominees the very best of luck as the award winners are announced this evening. And finally, can I take this opportunity to congratulate the Queensland College of Teachers who despite the unique set of circumstances that we face have pushed on and hosted this event for the first time virtually. Best of luck to all the award nominees and on behalf of the Liberal National Party in Queensland, I thank you for your efforts throughout this most challenging year and I wish you all the very best. And so the celebration begins. Our first award category is the TUH Health Fund Dr Roger Hunter OAM Excellence in Beginning to Teach Award which recognises inspirational classroom teachers in their first four years of service. Dr Roger Hunter is a luminary in education in Queensland, a former adjunct professor at Griffith University and executive director of Lutheran Education Queensland, Roger served as a board member of the QCT and in its former iteration as the Board of Teacher Registration for 23 years. We'd now like to introduce you to the finalists in the TUH Health Fund Dr Roger Hunter OAM Excellence in Beginning to Teach Award. Being part of a community really motivates me and that might be the community in my classroom, that could be the community of our school or even the border Fraser Coast. Um, being there to support those and help that community grow really motivates me. Um, but of course my main motivation is the students. Um, the relationships with the students, being there to support them, breaking down their barriers to success is really important. Um, but the highest motivation every single day comes from the fact that I learn from them as much as they learn from me. I think I'm proud of the relationships that I form with students. It's um, something you just can't describe until you have it. Walking into a classroom and knowing that your students are excited to be there and are happy that you're there. And you know, if you have a day off or something um, and then you come back and they're like, where were you, we missed you. So those connections and those relationships that I'm forming are, I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud that my students enjoy coming to my classroom. And I think I'm really proud of the fact that I push myself to try the best that I can for my students. I'm, a, I'm proud that I'm willing to experiment and, and innovate and be an early adapter for um, you know, some pretty cool research coming out. Uh, teaching is the best profession because it allows you to pursue your passion in more ways than one. Firstly, the passion to be able to share your expertise in your subject area and impart um, your knowledge to students as well as your experiences. And for me, that's health and physical education and science. Secondly, a passion for learning and growing um, within your teaching area and practice as well as your pedagogy. But not only that, being able to learn and grow with your interactions that you have with colleagues and students. And students can definitely teach you a lot um, in terms of resilience. The thing that I am most passionate about in my classrooms is relationships, it's allowing student voice and it's making sure that every single individual in that room feels safe and is able to bring their own culture or their own difference or their little quirk about themselves and show us what that's like, show us how they learn within that room to engage everyone and to make learning fun or at their school experience fun. I would also be very passionate about students who struggle with learning or students who hate schooling and finding out why that is, where that cause is 
and allowing them to or watching that tiny little step for them to actually turn up that day or enjoy one aspect of school. My motivation stems from my own experiences with influential teachers as a child. The impact these teachers have had on my life inspires me to continue the same. Now that I'm a teacher, I am motivated by being in a position to be a positive role model for other students. I care about my students and their welfare, and I'm in a position to make a difference. Seeing the joy on their faces when they discover the missing link or that light bulb moment in their learning inspires me to continue what I'm doing. The growth you see in just one year with a group of students is powerful and inspires me to continue being a teacher and the best that I can be. Congratulations to all our finalists in the TUH Health Fund Dr. Roger Hunter OAM Excellence in Beginning to Teach Award. As a lifelong educator, I feel no less passion in the profession than I always have. Though those finalists remind me that I was once even younger than I am now. Mr. Rob Seljak, CEO of award sponsor TUH Health Fund, will now tell us a little bit more about TUH and announce the winner for 2020. TUH is proud to have been a partner with the Queensland College of Teachers since these awards started. And we appreciate the opportunity to be an ongoing supporter. Today, this award celebrates those who have demonstrated true excellence in teaching, taking their role as educators very seriously. At TUH, we take our role as providing good value health care to our members very seriously as well. Proof of this is TUH's decision to freeze premiums this year while many other health funds decided to raise their prices. We also provided premium relief to members suffering financial hardship due to COVID-19. We are delighted to be able to provide this support to our members during these difficult times. We are equally delighted to sponsor the Dr. Roger Hunter Excellence in Beginning to Teach Award that recognizes teachers in their early career. On behalf of TUH, I congratulate Sophie Gruel, Mabel Park State High School, and wish you every ongoing success in your career. Thanks to the TUH Health Fund for their sponsorship of that award. And hearty congratulations to you, Sophie. Thank you for reminding us all that great classrooms don't have walls and relationships with students is at the core of great learning and teaching. You and your fellow beginning teachers will do no less than shape the future of our nation. Thank you for embracing and accepting that profound privilege and responsibility. Our next award category is the Teachers Mutual Bank Dr. Ellen Drury OAM Excellence in Teaching Award and it recognises inspirational Queensland teachers. Dr. Drury is another of our Queensland education luminaries. With multiple honorary doctorates, Dr. Drury was the first CEO and later Executive Director of the Queensland Catholic Education Commission and served on the board of QCT's predecessors the Board of Teacher Education and the Board of Teacher Registration for 22 years. Let's meet the finalists in the Teachers Mutual Bank Dr. Alan Drury OAM Excellence in Teaching Award. Being a teacher, you're preparing children for a whole world of opportunity and that fills me with gratitude and pride. This role doesn't just last the year the children are with you, but it continues throughout their school career and beyond school life. Whenever you catch up in the playground or see them in their high school uniform or cross paths out in the world as they navigate adulthood, there is always one little memory 
that we can share and your heartstrings are pulled right back to that moment. As a person of Chinese background, I was born into a culture of teaching and I've been a teacher for most of my life. Like generations of great teachers before me, I take a long-term view of education, seeking to build resilience and confidence as a feature of our community cultures here in Queensland. My proudest teaching achievement in recent years is the pioneering work I have delivered by initiating and developing Queensland's first vocational education training program in applied languages of Chinese. I think teachers have the potential to make such a difference in the lives of the students that they teach and work with. Um, the growth and development that we see, as I said before, the breakthroughs and students finally getting something after they've tried so hard to get there, um, the surprises each day. It's the amazing moments that we see in our job every day. This can't be quantified. You know, it's not something you can sit here and say, I like it because of this percentage. It's just those moments that make it the best it can be. And I wouldn't change my profession for all the money in the world. Wow, such an amazing job, I would say. But I think um, particularly with young women, often if they're good at science, uh, their first consideration really is if they choose to go down that path is health medicine and uh, what I guess I'm very proud of is that I've um, opened up I guess their perception in terms of what else they can do in the sciences whether it's engineering, uh, pure research, those sorts of things. So uh, my greatest achievement or something that I'm the most proud of is the increased engagement in young women in STEM subjects. So in education, what I'm most passionate about is obviously learning, students learning. Uh, but if a student is here and the learning is this way in an upward direction, what I'm really passionate about is leveraging technology. A nice little fulcrum here. And technology can help. I can put a little bit of effort here and the students will get lifted so much higher if we leverage technology appropriately in our classroom. Congratulations to all of our finalists in the Teachers Mutual Bank Dr. Alan Drury OAM Excellence in Teaching Award. Because of the restrictions due to COVID, representatives from Teachers Mutual Bank are unable to participate in today's ceremony. Operating for over 50 years, Teachers Mutual Bank is one of Australia's largest member-owned banks with 190,000 members and $8 billion in assets. As the only remaining dedicated bank for education support in Australia, the Teachers Mutual Bank is passionate about supporting the professional development and work of teachers via a range of partnerships and community initiatives. Teachers Mutual Bank is delighted to sponsor the Teach X Award for Excellence in Teaching and will continue to seek opportunities to further support the Queensland education sector. On their behalf, I would like to announce the winner of the Teachers Mutual Bank Dr. Alan Drury OAM Excellence in Teaching Award. The winner is Joel Speranza from Ormiston College. I'm aware of Joel's work at Ormiston College. He has had more than half a million hits on his YouTube videos, placed more than 1,000 lessons online for students and teachers to use, led his school through making videos during the COVID-19 remote teaching period with students as drivers of the lessons. As demonstrated in his video vignette, he was one of the first teachers in Australia to use a light board, 
which sees teachers writing lessons on the glass as if the teacher is writing on the camera lens of the video that viewers are watching, which was used extensively in video lessons for students. Let's move on to the School Zine Merlene Muldoon Innovation in Teaching Award. This award recognises the groundbreaking work of teachers and school leaders in schools and early learning centres across Queensland. Even though this is only the second year this award has been presented, it is, let's face it, a year where innovative practice has needed to be front and centre. As one of Queensland's first registered teachers, Merlene Muldoon was also the first chair of the Board of Teacher Registration, the predecessor of the QCT. In the late 1960s, she was at the forefront of the Queensland Teachers Union campaign, which led to the establishment of teacher registration in Queensland. Let's meet the finalists in the school zine Merlene Muldoon Innovation in Teaching Award. I am absolutely in love with the career path that I have chosen. Each and every single day, I continue to learn new things, see things in a different way. I laugh, I cry, I've been challenged in ways I never knew I could. My heart is full and I'm mindful of memories of kids who I've taught. Teaching provides you with the opportunity to be continually creative and you get to work with the most interesting people, our students. You are a lifelong learner and there is never a dull moment as no two days are the same. I suppose what motivates me as a teacher is the idea of each day when you go into the class um, that you're going to have some impact on the student. Um, you might get them to question, think about and just to get more out of what's going on in the world around us and to make them a more rounded person. Teachers have a lot to give and every day is different. You turn up in the classroom and you don't know what you're going to face. Every year you might teach the same thing, but you might teach it in a different way each year. You look at it and you go, oh, is that the best way to do it? And you get to alter and evaluate your performance. Why is teaching the best profession? Um, every day is different. You never know what you're going to get when you turn up and we get some amazing opportunities to work with some, with some pretty special people. What teaching innovation am I most proud of um, is this space here, our eSports lab. It really is a, a sense of accomplishment for us as a school to, to find a passion for students that then allows them to, to express themselves and, and to learn in different ways uh, both in the classroom and out of the classroom and to, to work together as a group. My proudest teaching innovation is Reef BG. Uh, it's a room that's grown over many years. Started off with us having one little fish tank, which then transformed into a coral tank in our library. We then started breeding clownfish, and then now we have the room we have today where we have a variety of habitats shown on display. Um, the room is a really good teaching tool. Uh, I use it, in, for example, in science of year fives, looking at adaptations, so the shape of the fish or the colour of the fish or how they act. And I also um, use it with something like symbiotic relationships with clownfish and anemones with year threes. Um, what I really get a kick out of this room is how the students engage and participate with the room. Uh, the room is open every morning. Students come in, they've got their special takes that they like to visit. Um, there's also some kids with social issues that find it hard to fit in at school but they love coming into the room and meeting Myrtle the turtle or catching up with Gus and saying hello. I really believe that teaching is the best profession. I've been fortunate enough to work around the country as a zoologist and marine biologist in a range of roles from researcher to guide and wildlife manager. And as rewarding as those experiences are, none of them have given me the sense of achievement that I've received from being able to engage with students and being able to pass on my passion for learning. Well, that's surely what it's all about. 
Congratulations to all of our finalists of the Schoolzine Merlin Muldoon Innovation in Teaching Award. Mr Dion Guthrie, Acting CEO at award sponsor Schoolzine Australasia, will now tell us a little bit more about Schoolzine and announce the category winner. Hello, my name is Dion Guthrie. I am the CEO of Schoolzine Australia in New Zealand. Firstly, thank you to QCT for again inviting us to be part of these awards. Favourite time for myself and for Schoolzine. Uh, we love being part of an initiative that celebrates excellence in teaching. Especially being part of the Marilyn Mundoon Innovation and Teaching Award aligns perfectly with what Schoolzine is about. Um, innovation is in the DNA of every product we've ever built and always will be. Uh, we love pushing the boundaries, so thank you to all the finalists. You guys are definitely pushing the boundaries. By pushing the boundaries, you are helping kids have what they need to be successful in life. So thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. You're improving education and you're improving our kids. And now for the winner. The winner of the Schoolzine Marilyn Mundoon Innovation and Teaching Awards goes to Brett Murphy, Belgian Gardens State School. And thanks to Schoolzine. Congratulations, Brett. You are a true innovator and have significantly influenced learning across the broader North Queensland region. It also, I think, warrants me to comment that that is a truly outstanding shirt. If that's not the staff shirt at Belgian Gardens State School, it surely should be. Our fourth category is the Teachers Mutual Bank Dr John Dwyer Excellent Leadership in Teaching and Learning Award. That's a mouthful. It recognises classroom teachers or school leaders who have taken a leading role in enhancing teaching and learning in their school. Dr John Dwyer has served in educational leadership for more than 60 years. In so many roles over the years from teacher to principal to inspector, John has also been a leading voice in areas of Indigenous education and vocational education and training. John is a former chair of the Board of Teacher Registration. Together, let's consider the fine work of the finalists in the Teachers Mutual Bank Dr John Dwyer Excellent Leadership in Teaching and Learning Award. For me, it's been a continual journey of learning, reflective practice, and most importantly, aligning my daily teaching practice with my deepest values. Why is teaching the best profession? Quote, there is no profession more important. Life chances are created and futures mapped. Cater, 2017. So what motivates me as a teacher, it's actually really quite simple, it's just um, being able to make a difference in students' lives. I, um, I love nothing more than being able to, um, to grow students' confidence through um, quality teaching programs and instruction in the classroom. I think as a teacher, even when I first started, um, I got great satisfaction and, and really was driven to improve students' grades and, and grow their confidence. So, And I guess in a leadership context, that's really translated into um, adult life as well, that I love to be able to teach adults on how to develop as future leaders. So it's really as simple as making a difference. I think the best thing you can do as a leader is celebrate the success of others. I find I'm the proudest where people I have worked with, whether that be a student or whether that be a staff member, when they have achieved a goal, set out something and accomplished what they worked hard to do, that makes me proud as someone who may have had an influence on that. 
If I can make everyone around me better and greater, I think that's the best legacy that I can leave as a school leader. Why is teaching the best profession? Because teachers lay down the foundations for every child. We're the one profession that supports and develops all other professions. I could be teaching the next Prime Minister or the next David Attenborough. Without teachers, students would not be guided and encouraged to reach their potential. In fact, to exceed their own potential. To see beyond what they thought it was that was possible. My teachers guide and engage me to become the person I am today to think outside the box and to work collaboratively to help students. As an educator, our professional leaders are also educators and understand our daily tasks, challenges and help us to achieve through opportunity. This high level of empathy and understanding makes for a very rewarding career. It is through teaching that we open up young people's eyes to the possibilities within the world. And that's not just through learning content. That's about engaging in the world in a positive way, considering what can we do in order to provide, to provide service to others? How can we enhance the lives of others? And that, I think, is the, a very important consideration for young people to have as they move forward in the world and as they take over as the future leaders of the world. So not only will we have new knowledge or a, a, a very clever knowledge um, economy, but we will also have a better, more peaceful, more caring world in which to live. Uh, Meredith, it must be wonderful to live and work in North Queensland where you can have such tropical plants thriving in your office. We congratulate all of the finalists in the Teachers Mutual Bank, Dr John Dwyer, excellent Leadership in Teaching and Learning Award. As stated earlier, due to COVID restrictions, representatives from Teachers Mutual Bank are unable to participate in today's ceremony. With their lengthy and ongoing commitment to the profession of teaching, we acknowledge with gratitude the support of the Teachers Mutual Bank who have sponsored two of our six award categories. On their behalf, I would like to announce the winner of the Dr. John Dwyer Excellent Leadership in Teaching and Learning Award. The winner is Meredith Wenter from Kerwin State High School. Under Meredith's leadership, Kerwin State High School is broadly acknowledged for its award-winning education and multicultural programs and is variously noted as a school of choice for beginning teachers. As a colleague principal, I note that this is invariably a sign of very positive health and culture in a school context and no doubt is a testament to Meredith's leadership. Moving on to the penultimate award category. The Q Super Dr Joe McCauley OAM Outstanding Contribution to School Community Award recognises inspirational teachers who are the heart of the school community. I think this one's my favourite. Dr Joe McCauley OAM chaired the QCT board from 2009 until mid-2017. He's also the former executive director of the Queensland Catholic Education Commission a position he undertook following years of distinguished service in the public schooling sector. Let's enjoy meeting the finalists for the Q Super Dr Joe McCauley OAM Outstanding Contribution to School Community Award. As a teacher, I am motivated by my students. They arrive to school every morning, smiling, energetic, and eager to learn and develop the skills required to be a better version of themselves. They are vulnerable young people who consistently strive to meet our expectations. Their resilience and determination to persistently push forward despite adversity is what motivates me.
things I'm most passionate about in teaching, I guess, is to see those stories develop, to see those young people grow, to become the people that they sometimes only dream about becoming, but the, the, that they can actually move on and become young, productive people um, and happy in their lives and happy with their choices and th be able to help them and help give them choices for their life. Our staff here, while well, we're out in a rural um, area, that doesn't make a difference. They come out here and they want to do the best they can. They're looking for extra opportunities. They're wanting to do their best. They're coming and they're asking how they can be better. And everyone is really supportive of each other. It really is a team, team environment where we're driving to try and get the best out of ourselves and our students. And where they're working together to try and collaborate and problem solve how to be able to achieve the best for our students. And I think it's really typified when visitors come in through our school gates and they'll say, Carly, we can feel the positive environment here at the school. So I was like, oh yeah. Teaching is a great profession. It's allowed me to be so diverse in my experiences. I've taught three-year-olds to 17-year-olds from Brisbane to tiny little islands in the Torres Strait out west to the Northern Territory border. I've been able to be a visiting teacher, a classroom teacher, a teacher coach. Teaching is so flexible. As a working mum, I've really valued the time that I've been able to spend with my own children and raise them to be exceptional human beings. Teaching's also creative. It's allowed me to pour right down into my inner soul and pull out, pour my heart into my work and come up with all different ways of doing things. I think teaching is the best profession because it's never boring. It's constantly evolving. There's always new techniques, new ways of working, and not just for and with the students, but for staff as well. You get to meet so many different people that you work with every day, and some of those people become as close as family. And that's really important in the environment that you work in. The diversity of students, especially here at Mabel, has allowed us some unique opportunities to learn and broaden horizons that for some may not have ever been accessible. We just couldn't have got through 30 videos, could we, without there being a school bell in there somewhere. Congratulations to our finalists for the Q Super Dr Joe McCauley OAM Outstanding Contribution to School Community Award. Award sponsor Q Super's Chief Risk Officer, Anne Finney, will now tell us a little more about Q Super and announce the winner for 2020. Hello everyone, I'm Anne Finney, Chief Risk Officer of Q Super. Q Super is proud to be involved in these awards to recognise the amazing work of the teachers across the state, many of whom trust us with their retirement savings. I'm very happy to be announcing the winner today of the Q Super Dr Joe McCauley OAM Award for outstanding contribution to the school community. Let me tell you a, a little bit about today's winner. The school has become an extraordinary hub of support for its students and their families, from medical services on site once a week, to a program which connects students and their families with dozens of external support agencies, to community sponsored meal deliveries sent out to vulnerable families, to a teaching team which visited students during the COVID-19 learning at home restrictions. The winner also worked with stakeholders to secure hundreds of thousands of dollars of services and resources to help these programs happen. The principal of the school says, the winner is an exceptional educator whose contribution to some of the most disadvantaged students and families in the country on a daily basis is genuinely life-changing. Around 70% of the school's students identify as either Aboriginal and or Torres Strait Islander. The winner has built her credibility among the local Indigenous community through the family first approach. This recognises that strong connected relationships with students, families and communities are crucial and no discussions, plans or decisions are put in place without the family's consent. The winner's role was evident during the restrictions brought about by COVID-19. The social disadvantage of many of the students meant that engaging through technology was not going to be an option. 
One of the ways that the winner responded was the development of the COVID community classroom, where she and some of her team took, to, th took the learning to some of our most disadvantaged students. The leadership shown meant that the school filled the gaps in support that the community required. And the winner goes to Kathy Nixon from Cairns West State School. Thanks to Cathy Nixon and congratulations. Your initiatives, it must be said, have provided the glue for vulnerable families to be connected not just with the school, but moreover with legitimate networks to support the family unit and thereby the education of the children. As such, you epitomise the criteria of the Outstanding Contribution to School Community Award. Your work makes a profound difference in your extended community and therefore society as a whole. Well, and then there was one. The final award category is the Courier Mail Professor Betty Watts OBE Memorial Award for an outstanding contribution to teaching. It recognises teachers and school leaders with an outstanding history of service. Professor Betty Watts OBE, a twice chair of the Board of Teacher Registration, the predecessor of the Queensland College of Teachers was a true trailblazer in Queensland's educational landscape. She was the state's fourth female professor and had a passion for Indigenous and special needs education. Within those disciplines, much of what is practised today is a legacy of her early work. It is our pleasure to introduce you to the finalists of the Courier Mail Professor Betty Watts OBE Memorial Award for an outstanding contribution to teaching. I reflect on over four decades. I started teaching later than most people, but I cannot remember or recall any one particular day that I didn't want to be at work. I like being in a school environment, a learning institution, surrounded by hard-working peers and a continuous stream of young people each year. Each day has its challenges and the variety within the day, within the week, and within the year is very interesting. I'm passionate about giving everybody a fair go, making no judgments and treating each student equally. I have a strong sense of social justice, which means I provide the tools for the students to steer their own path. That way, I do what I can for each student to have success. Teaching is the best profession as I'm able to help guide students um, of different ability levels to have success. With over 30 years of teaching experience, having taught and managed across many different faculties, I'm always up for a challenge. Teaching is an enormous privilege. We have been given a great responsibility by society to shape the next generation. The influence of a good teacher can last a lifetime. So I believe all teachers derive a lot of meaning from their work. I'm always delighted to hear from my students and about the wonderful things they go on to do and achieve in their life. I'm most proud of the achievement of, this, uh, of the achievements of my students in class and uh, I'm also really proud of those students who are now contributing to society in so many significant ways. Teaching, after all, is a profession that teaches all other professions, and I have been fortunate to teach thousands of students from kindergarten through university, and it has been a joy. Uh, I would like to just read a short message 
for um, you at the moment because it pertains to all educators. The student wrote, thank you so much for guiding me during my time at school. Your encouragement and care have impacted me for life. Thank you for the time you selflessly invested into my learning to be a good student, and thank you for inspiring me to be an even better person. I will always treasure the memory of your lessons and seeing your friendly smile around the school. That touches me. Teaching has allowed me to circle the globe, to meet and uh, be inspired by so many, and at times be inspiring. What more can you ask? Very hard to pick the proudest moment because I have had so many special students, special celebrations, special events that all remain in my memory and in my heart. However, if I had to choose, the one I can never forget is a blind student I'd worked with over a few years, got up at his valedictory dinner and publicly thanked me. I will never forget Brendan or that moment of pride he gave me. And that's why teaching is a great job. Pearl Donovan, what more could you ask for, quote unquote? I think you've captured what we as professional educators feel. Congratulations to all our finalists for the Courier Mail Professor Betty Watts OBB, OBE Memorial Award for an outstanding contribution to teaching. Mr Andre Grimau, Commercial Partnerships Editor at award sponsor the Courier Mail, will announce the winner for 2020. Good afternoon teachers, sponsors, Queensland College of Teachers staff and everyone involved in the TeachX Awards. I'd like to start on a personal note. As a father of two school age girls, I'd simply like to say thank you to all our teachers. Your commitment to education has always been exemplary, but this year no doubt it has gone to another level. It is appreciated and does not go unrecognised. Thank you also to the Queensland College of Teachers for celebrating the inspiring work and effort that takes place in classrooms across Queensland every day. The TeachX Awards are a fitting way to honour your amazing work. The Courier Mail has been a proud supporter of these awards for over a decade. Our commitment every day is to inform and inspire readers of our print and digital platforms. It's an ethos clearly shared with all you teachers. Our journalists and editors take great pride in telling your stories and sharing your achievements, your ideas and your journeys. And today I'm proud to announce the winner of the Courier Mail Professor Betty Watts OBE Memorial Award for outstanding contribution to teaching. Since stepping into her first classroom of 66 students in Graceville in 1955, she has taught three generations of Queensland children. At 82 years young, she will tell you that she's not done yet. She's a fine educator, a pioneer, and a picture of personal strength and resilience. As a young woman, she was passionate about mathematics and science. And at a time when these discipline areas were reserved for males, she could not be stopped. Throughout her teaching career, her belief in students and steady commitment to their growth, regardless of their ability level or circumstances, has been extraordinary. In an age before autism was recognised by the medical community, she recognised that the regimented classroom setting of the 1950s was inappropriate for some of her students and adopted a diverse range of tactics and strategies to support her students. As with many trailblazers, her spirited personality is characterised by true grit and unfaltering resilience. She is tenacious and stubborn, has an infectious zest for life and an insatiable thirst for knowledge. This approach, this approach has equipped her to meet and defeat life's many challenges. Her philosophy is simple, learn from each experience. And Queensland is fortunate to have you. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2020 The Courier Mail Professor Betty Watts OBE Memorial Award for Outstanding Contribution to Teaching is Del Rathbone, Westmorton Anglican College. Well, 
uh, Andre has given you but a snippet of the life's work of Del Rathbone. Del, I, I happen to know that you and members of your family have joined us virtually this afternoon. And I'm sure I speak on behalf of many when I might suggest that legend is a term which it might best be applied to you. It is a term which is altogether too commonly used, though it more than applies in this instance. I know your current principal quite well, and like the rest of the school communities that you have served, he is in awe of your deep and rich service to your students and colleagues. In your career, you have almost redefined what it is to cater for the needs of differently able students, for the management of international students, and it is also fair to say that you have paved the way for women as career educators. On behalf of all teachers and the QCT, we salute you. I can almost hear the party poppers. It's funny doing a live event here and knowing that there's sub-parties happening across the state. All good fun. I now invite Mr Tony Cook, PSM, Director General, Department of Education, to convey a vote of thanks. Hello everyone. I begin by acknowledging the traditional owners and custodians of the lands in which we meet this afternoon and pay my respects to the elders past, present and emerging. Well, what a wonderful award ceremony this has been. Firstly, I must acknowledge Education Minister Grace Grace and Shadow Education Minister Jared Blay and thank them for joining today's celebrations. My congratulations to all of the 2020 TeachX Awards nominees and finalists and of course the very special winners announced this afternoon. I would like very much to acknowledge today's sponsors for supporting this very important program. This event gives us all the opportunity to celebrate the best and brightest of our Queensland school and early childhood teachers right across the sector. It's also our chance to celebrate the hard work and commitment of all of our teachers during the 2020 school year. COVID-19 has made this a particularly challenging year and I offer my sincere thanks for the support of teachers right across the state as we have worked together to keep our students' education on track. Thank you also to the Teach X Awards judges for their efforts in selecting the winners from such a large and high quality field this year. Finally, congratulations to the Queensland College of Teachers, to Wendy, the Chair of the Board, to Deanne, the Director of the College, and to David, our MC, for hosting today's awards so brilliantly in an online format. I hope you have all had a wonderful afternoon and have some special celebrations planned to mark World Teachers Day tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. And to close proceedings today, I call on our captain, O oh Captain. In doing so, on behalf of the staff of the QCT and indeed the Board of Directors, I express my thanks to Emeritus Professor Wendy Patton, Chair of the Board of the Queensland College of Teachers, for her commitment to driving and upholding the values, ideals and strategies of the QCT. I can assure you, she oversees a tight ship. Wendy, the con is yours. Thanks very much, David. Well, it's not long now until you can switch us off and celebrate. As David said, we can only imagine celebrations all around the state because we literally are in a dark, quiet room um, here at Tawong. At this stage of the award ceremony, I never cease to be truly moved and overwhelmed by the amazing teachers we have in Queensland. And the 30 examples you've seen this afternoon are just a, a short, a small number of all the wonderful uh, teachers in Queensland. World Teachers Day and these TeachX Awards provide us with the opportunity to acclaim the work of our teachers and their value to us and to society and we've seen so many examples of that today, and simply to thank them. We have seen in these finalists and the winners the best of the best. Everyone provides overwhelming evidence for the strength of the teaching profession in Queensland. It is wonderful that we can honour these teachers and in doing so, honour our profession. On behalf of the QCT Board, congratulations to all the nominees and our 30 finalists. 
and in particular to today's winners. What a wonderfully diverse group of finalists and winners we have this year, dispersed right across Queensland. Recently, the college adopted its current logo, Smarter, Prouder Teacher. It certainly has been reflective of our Queensland teachers this year. I want to just share some formal acknowledgements on behalf of the board of the QCT. Thank you to the Minister for Education and Industrial Relations, the Honourable Grace Grace MP, for your welcome video. I know you value every opportunity you have to celebrate teachers in Queensland. Thank you also to Jared Blay, MP, the Shadow Education Spokesperson, for your acknowledgement of the great work of Queensland teachers. Thank you to Tony Cook, PSM, the Director General Education, for your ongoing support of all teachers in Queensland. And to our very special award eponyms, Dr Roger Hunter, OAM, Dr Alan Drury, OAM, Dr John Dwyer, Dr Joe McCauley, OAM, Merlin Muldoon, and Emeritus Professor Betty Watts, OBE. Each one of these eponyms, as David has outlined to us, has contributed so much to teaching in Queensland. They represent four former chairs of the board of the QCT and its predecessors, a long-serving deputy chair and a long-serving member. I want to also acknowledge today Dr. Mari Jansen for your consistent honouring and representing of Emeritus Professor Betty Watts, OBE. Thank you again to our award sponsors and presenters. These awards really would not be possible without your support. To TUH Health Fund, Teachers Mutual Bank, School Zine, Q Super and the Courier Mail, thank you very much again. I want to thank also all of our partners in this very important education project in Queensland. I know many of you will be watching. Our employer groups, principals associations, unions, parent and community groups, and teacher education institutions. Thank you for all your ongoing commitment to quality teaching in Queensland. A special thank you to the members of the selection panels. This is a very time consuming work and really significant as you can see from this evening. And it's also very hard, but I know you approach it with an enormous commitment to ensuring that the best work is seen when we come to these awards. Thanks also to the QCT staff for all their work in the conduct of the whole awards process and this event. Documenting the work, the, sto the stories of all the teachers is an enormous piece of work for the college. It's a major occasion in the QCT calendar and your work is highly valued. Finally, I want to thank our MC, David Bliss, this is again, as a school principal, an enormous additional undertaking that David commits to. And I want to thank you, David, very much for that. Our previous awards evenings end now with drinks and a celebration with the Story Bridge lit up in colour for World Teachers Day tomorrow. But that's not going to happen tonight. David, we can only imagine the wonderful parties that are going on around the state. And we're here in our quiet room in Tawong. I know from talking with many of you that your schools and communities are honouring you with special celebrations right now. So I won't stop, I won't continue to talk. I want you to enjoy all that this means for yourselves, for your careers and for your profession. And have a lovely evening. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Wendy. That concludes the 2020 Teach X Awards ceremony for this year. Wendy's mentioned our, uh, our partner sponsors and we'd like to thank them very much for indeed making these awards possible. Uh, apparently in Queensland this week, there's another event going on which is of some significance and pressworthy, but we would hope that one of our sponsors in particular, the Courier Mail, will pick up from amongst our thousands of not just good news stories, but great and exceptional news stories that are happening in our communities across the state. To all teachers, tomorrow in Australia, we will celebrate World Teachers Day. Good on each and every one of you. That's all of the time 
but ever so much more in this particular year. Congratulations again to all of the finalists and award winners. And we'll see you amongst thousands of applications for Teach X Awards in 2021. Thank you for joining us and have a very good evening.